everybody, it's Elise and this is The Crunchy Ginger. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Every week I share a tip, a trick, a DIY to help you live a little greener and save a little money. And today I'm coming to you from my community garden because a few weeks ago when I did my garden update video, I saw something growing in here that I thought was chamomile that had just been misplaced. But lo and behold, it is something slightly different. Let me show you. This is a weed, but it is in the chamomile family and it's often called pineapple weed or rayless chamomile. And as you can see, it looks very much like chamomile, only it doesn't have any white petals. It is rayless. So this tastes very much like chamomile and it can be used in similar ways. And we have actually just left it here in the garden. Uh, if you live in the Pacific Northwest like we do, you may have seen this. It often grows in gravel in driveways. It's notorious for growing places that are undesirable for most things to grow. But for some reason, it just popped up here in our garden. And we've just left it because we think it tastes delicious. It is edible. It has some medicinal properties similar to regular chamomile. And we have been making it into a tea. And so my, five, my almost five-year-old loves picking it and making pineapple tea. So you'll just want to pull the little flower heads off. You'll want to pick ones that look kind of clean and also ones that aren't sort of falling apart. You'll just pop them off right like that. And we'll collect some of these and we can make them into a fresh tea. They can also be dried and stored and made into a tea. Pop. Just like any other dried herb tea. So we are back home now and we have collected uh, about a handful, I don't know, a tablespoon or two of, of these flower heads from our pineapple, our pineapple weed. And the thing that you will notice about this that distinguishes it from other, other similar looking plants is that when you crush it, it smells distinctly like pineapple and it also tastes like pineapple. So we've got just a tea, a tea ball, a tea strainer here, and I'm going to put the flower heads in here. We don't really want so much of the stems, so I'm gonna to try to pick off some of the stems, and we're gonna fill up our little container. And if any of them are sort of falling apart, kind of going to seed like, like this one here, eh, you don't really want that, so leave that guy out. Okay, so now we have filled up our tea ball with our flower heads from our pineapple weed, our rayless chamomile, and we're gonna give it a little crush. So why don't you give it a little squish? My assistant is gonna squish, squish, squish. <laughs> yeah, this will help release some of the, the oils here. Oops, that's okay. Get some of that, get all that good flavor yeah. going. So I've read that some people do have a slight allergy to this, to, to the pineapple weed, so if if you have never tried it before, I would maybe try a little bit before you delve into making a whole tea just to make sure that you don't have some sort of allergic reaction. We have all tried it carefully and have had no adverse reactions, but none of us tend to have a lot of food allergies in my family either. <clears throat> okay. All right, I think that's good. What do you think? Okay, so let's close Let's close it up. You close it up? Put our tea ball in our cup. This is this is your favorite cup. Yeah. Why is this your favorite cup? The underwear. This is the underwear cup. It says, "I see London, I see France." So we have our boiling water. We're just going to pour it in, and we'll let this steep for about ten minutes or so. Until dinner. Until dinner. Until it's tea time. Until tea time. Okay, so do you think it's done? Uh-oh, that string part fell in there. Oopsie, that's okay, we can fish it out. So I think what we might do, because it's a super hot day, is it a super hot day? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, it's super hot. So we are gonna pour ours over ice. But you can smell it, it smells like, it smells like a mix between chamomile and pineapple. It's very yummy, and I am so excited about being able to share some wild crafting because we don't have our own backyard, which means that I don't have access to like, the dandelions and plantains and all the cool medicinal weeds that other people have that I see, um, their videos and stuff. You can drink this warm or over ice. It's got a nice calming effect just like your traditional chamomile tea. So we are going to attempt 
hopefully without spilling it, to pour ours over ice. Maybe I should remove one of these. I got these gigantic ice cubes. I'm gonna remove one for pouring purposes. Mm. Ah. Splatter. Splatter. Here. <laughs> Woo! Here, do you wanna come try it? Watch out for the spill on the floor. How is it? How is it? It's like chamomile water. Chamomile <laughs> water. Yeah, that's called tea. So what do you think? Have you tried this pineapple weed tea? Have you seen this growing in your yard? And also, let me know, what is your favorite backyard wild crafting tip? Please share in the comments below. If you want more tips and tricks about how to live a little greener and save a little money, money. please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mm, I think this would be perfect with just like a little drizzle of honey too. What do you think? Yeah. Well, I'm already mm. done with mine. You're already done with yours? And I want more now. Oh, he wants more now. <laughs>